my god, this is so much fun! <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Colin. I hope everybody's having an incredible day today. The weather here, I don't know about you guys, but we've been uh, having a heat wave here on the East Coast the last couple weeks. And when I say heat wave, I'm talking like 105, 106 heat index. And it's just silly hot. It's just no fun when it's that uh, unbearable to ride in. So I haven't got a chance to really ride these last couple weeks. Uh, but I wanted to get out today because the weather subsided a little bit. It's like uh, 90 degrees today, and that's subsided compared to what it, it, what it has been. And uh, I have some new riding gear, a uh, new jacket, boots, pants, gloves, everything. So I want to get out and kind of get the feel for them a little bit. Uh, and so far, great first impressions, but that's for a later video. Today I'm going to talk about some recent mods that I added here to Winston. And uh, let's talk about it. Isn't that beautiful out there? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> this is the first mod I'm going to talk about. This is the optional skid plate. The one that came with it, let's just put it this way, it's not that good. I talked about it in the first video I did when I did an introduction to Winston, which is the name of my Pan America. Damn, it is so freaking hot in this car. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm like dripping sweat. But I do have a solution. I walk over to my freezer, which is about 10 to 15 years old. And this thing is held up like a champ. Damn, I got to clean the garage again. And I need to clean the fridge. I stick my head in this nice freezer here for about a minute. And I go, ah. All right, now back to the skid plate. It's a little bit better. That should last about 30 seconds. As I was talking about earlier, the OEM ones is too small. The voltage regulator is exposed. With this one, it covers the voltage regulator up here. And this is a simple install. And all you need is the uh, T40 Torx bit right here. And then what it comes with, it comes with six grommets, these, and then six spacers. And when you take this off from the OEM, there's six holes. There's a uh, two on the side right here, one on each side, and then you have the four right here. So all you gotta do is just take the grommet first and then run it through and seal the hole. And I already did it on these four. And so when it comes out, it looks like that. And then all we have to do is uh, pop this thing on. So what I'll do is I'll take off the old one first and I'll put it side by side and kind of give you a comparison, the difference between uh, the optional one and then the OEM. Little bit of a difference, yeah. A simple install. All you gotta do is take these six out, six T40s, and uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Same setup on the new one. I love this because now the voltage regulator, which is open on this one, so before I showed you like how it was sticking out, now it's covered. And I also like on the holes right over here, part of your pipe's covered now. Whereas on this one, it was exposed. So definitely I'm glad I picked this up. So let me show you what it looks like on the bike. Definitely a big improvement here. I like how the voltage regulator is now covered. Uh, there is one downfall, and I don't even know if you call it a downfall or not, but I like the look before we had the entire uh, pipe exposed. But nonetheless, this is definitely better for extra protection, so it does cover that look up. But to put this back, again, it was very simple. Put the uh, 6T40s back on, uh, torqued it down to 14 to 18 pounds of torque, and then you're good to go. This thing is really, really sturdy. All right, let me show you the next mod I put on. This next one I'm putting on is the knee pad. And I like the look of this. I've seen it in a couple other videos that have the Pan Am. And uh, I don't know, it just brings out the look of it. So aesthetically, it's nice. But it's also there for a purpose to give you a little bit extra padding when you're standing up. I'm surprised how thin it was. I don't know if you could see how thin. I thought it would be a little bit thicker. Uh, but to install this, super simple, right? All you got to do is line it up. You know, first you want to clean this with some isopropyl. Uh, get it all nice and dry and then uh, peel the back and then find out where you're happy, you know, which will probably be right in here. Uh, once you stick it on, wait about 24, 48 hours, let it cure a little bit and you're good to go. Uh, I found as I'm standing on the bike before I put these on, my knees are probably hitting about right here. So I'm not like hitting up here. I mean, I definitely could if I really wanted to stretch my knees up there or my... But for the most part, I'm, when I'm standing up, I'm hitting right here. So I'm only going to probably be hitting these maybe first four or five inches of padding. But overall, I think it's gonna make a really good look to the bike. 
All right, let me show you the last thing I put on here. Before I go into this last thing, a couple things I want to go over with you. So I'm still waiting on a couple parts. Um, first one being the uh, tank bag. So the tank bag's still going to be about a month away. And the tall risers. So I'm still riding. Now, honestly, the more I've rode this thing, I mean, the tall risers are nice when I'm standing up. I definitely do need a little bit uh, taller bars, but it isn't bad, honestly. It hasn't been horrible. It's not uncomfortable, but it will be nice when they do come in. And this week, I believe these just came in. I just got a note from my Harley dealer. I haven't gone down and picked them up yet. The paneers. So I got my mounting hardware for the left and right, and the top case came in. So saying that, I wanted to get something. Now, so before I uh, had those, because originally it was supposed to be back ordered till October, the um, tank or the uh, paneers. So I ended up getting something that would hold me over. And normally, and I'll be the first to admit this, normally I am not a guy that buys something super cheap. I'm not. And a lot of times you can go on Amazon and find stuff for your motorcycle that is relatively inexpensive, but you get what you paid for normally, right? Now I'm gonna be the first to admit I was wrong on this. This is a, a tank bag that only cost, I believe it was 67 or 65 bucks. And um, I love it. Honestly, it's perfect for me because before I didn't have any type of storage space while I rode, while I was waiting on those pony ears, but I, I, having this soft luggage and it converts into a backpack. So let me tell you a little bit about it. It's from a company called Kimimoto, is that how you pronounce it? Kimimoto, they're in China, um, but it's, it's solid. I was like uh, pulling on and stretching, the zippers are really solid. And one thing I like about it, so it, it converts into a backpack if you really wanted it to. So it has straps, you can see the straps in there or not, but you can convert it to a backpack. It comes with a, a rain cover. And uh, honestly, the, the thing I like the most, it's like, a, if for those of you that have a Rick Rack bag, um, you know how it expands, so like at the top where it'll expand. Similar here too. So when you first look at it, you're like, well, it's pretty small. Uh, but with the zipper, see how it pops up right there? So it actually will hold a full face helmet. I tested it, and sure enough, it does. It's a little tight, uh, but it does fit. And it zippers around. Uh, these are, um, I need to install some new camera mounts, so that's what they are. Uh, but overall, man, I mean, um, surprisingly, I don't usually go this route but I would recommend this because it's perfect for if like, I don't want to put on my, uh, my top case and I just want to put on the panniers left and right, just throw this on. Uh, I could do this. Uh, these are great for short rides, you know, pack a couple things and then just go. So I'm glad I picked this up. So that is the three things that I put on this. And hopefully once I get those uh, risers and then the uh, tank bag, we'll be hundred percent on this and then I'll be happy. But I tell you what, guys, you gotta get on one of these. I am so freaking stoked that I bought this bike. I cannot tell you how happy I am with it. This thing rides so amazing. It's fast as hell. I had to get used to the high revving on it, uh, but man, I am stoked. Having this uh, new skid plate out there for next extra protection, having the new knee pads right there. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm a happy man. All right, everybody, now get out there and ride, be well, and I'll talk to you guys soon.